Inside, this 1950s house is a kitschy kitchen that's hungry for an update. I'm Candace Olson, and this is Divine Design. And their two daughters, they all love their 1950s house. A house with a few rooms that are stuck in a bit of a time warp, including their hardworking and slightly famous kitchen. Hardworking because they belong to a cooking club where they cook and entertain in their kitchen. It's also the nerve center for their gourmet specialty food company where they conceptualize and create and test absolutely everything right here. Slightly famous because it's been in several commercials as the definitive 1950s kitchen. But this 50s kitchen just isn't cutting it anymore. They're ready to give up the glamorous world of television in favor of a new kitchen that will walk the line between good looks and hard work. Goodbye 1950s, I'm looking for modern finishes and state-of-the-art appliances. This kitchen really has a split personality. It's half family residential kitchen and half commercial industrial kitchen. So it's only fitting that it has two distinct design personalities, one modern and one traditional. The modern defined by white cabinetry, simple recessed panels, really the only embellishment here, these beautiful polished chrome handles. The traditional side, totally different. We have dark wood mixed in with lots of molding details here, mixed in with hardware that really looks like furniture hardware and glass fronted cabinets with a leaded glass looking detail. Swinging back and forth between traditional and modern, the flooring. It's kind of a retro throwback to linoleum flooring, but a much more updated product laid in a very graphic striped pattern. We have black quartz countertops sitting next to our glass mosaic backsplash that also adds a modern element. And that all mixed in with stainless steel, this beautiful stainless steel continuous countertop with an integrated sink. And the whole thing is really set off by the dark tones of the wood. Finally, the main ingredient in any family residential or commercial kitchen, and that state-of-the-art appliances that are going to make testing recipes in this kitchen a guaranteed tasty treat. We're using a revolutionary system of refrigeration here. It's a system of columns that you can mix and match and put all over your kitchen in various configurations. What we have here is a double door fridge with a huge bottom mounted freezer for everyday family use and for the commercial side of this kitchen, the test kitchen side, we have another column placed right beside it. And the great thing about the whole system, we fronted it with cabinetry panels so it looks like one sleek closet. You'd never know it's there. Lots of crisp chrome and retro style finishes help give this kitchen a flavor of old times. But now it's super functional with a hint of traditional that I hope Kim and Peter can enjoy for both gourmet food nights and taste testings with their girls. Kim and Peter and their two girls came to me with a problem. They had a much loved retro kitchen that just wasn't working for them. For over 50 years, this kitchen had stayed in its authentic 50s form. And although they liked it, it had become impossible to host their foodie friends club and at the same time develop products for their gourmet specialty products line. It's a lot of function, so we basically had to start from scratch, open it up and reconfigure the space so their culinary creations can flourish. This famous kitchen was ready for its final curtain call. The 1950s are gone and replaced with a brand new kitchen that strikes the perfect balance between modern and traditional. I designed a better and bigger layout with a new opening to the dining room, installed tons of cabinetry for storage, and worked in lots of counter space for all their kitchen activities. They now have all the room they need for family, business, and gourmet entertaining. This kitchen was faded in 50s, so we ripped out, removed, and replaced. 
and now it has the taste tester seal of approval. Now that's divine.